Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies, the daily live stream here on Reddit, and then later YouTube, about the lives and development of these three young chickens. And today, while Braveheart is just raring to go, she jumped right into my lap, wanted a bunch of pets, and she's getting a little annoyed that Dad's paying so much attention to the phone right now. And hello there, CZMG. Right here before us, we have our Ayam Samani hen named Braveheart, just trying to get my attention here. Oh dear, oh dear. Just kind of clucking at me. Um, over there in brown and gold, just staring at the cat tower right now wondering whether or not she should try to traverse it, is our Onigadori hen named Kagome. The Onigadori is an endangered breed of chicken from Japan, known for their long, lustrous tail feathers. Kagome's tail feathers are about a little over a foot long now, but they can grow to be over 20 feet in length or over six meters. And right there, kind of flapping his wings, is our little rooster named Stormy. Stormy is a silky chicken. The silky breed comes originally from China, and they are covered in these furry, soft feathers their whole lives. And CZMG, all of the chickies are doing well today. They're all just going about. Braveheart keeps on jumping on top of me. I think she's gonna try to jump onto my shoulder next with the way she's going on. Oh, here comes Kagome. Is she looking to just hang out with our Braveheart? Or is today the day she's going to try and traverse the cat tower? Oh my, oh my. And I'm sorry, but we don't have any ducks. For our little flock, all we have are these three chickens at the moment. Uh, they are now all 125 days old. And in a few weeks, um, possibly a couple of months, they will be old enough to start producing their own eggs. And at that stage, we actually might see a few little hybrid chickies. Uh, because we only have one male in the form of our Stormy over there and his fuzzy little butt. Um, all of the chickies that we get will be half silky and then either half of one of these girls. So that will be very interesting to see them all become parents in the future. And Memento Mori, lovely to see you here on the broadcast. And the chickens are doing well today. Um, today we are going to be going for a variety of different um, seed treats for them. I have some sesame seeds here. We have some sunflower seeds. And just coming in today, we have some flax seeds. So we already know that they enjoy sesame seeds. So we'll see if they enjoy any of the rest of it. Hello there, Kagome. Oh, off to be there with your sister. Oh my, oh my. And these two do like kind of being perched together. And since we're just in the beginning of the episode, we might as well get their daily weigh-in um, done with. The daily weigh-in is just one of our little um, tasks to make sure that the chickies are developing at a good rate. Um, all of them are, you know, in their teenage phase right now, so they should be growing a little bit each day. A sudden drop in weight can indicate to us that the chickens are getting a little bit stressed, or they're not feeling too well. So that's one of the reasons why we just keep track. So let me put down the phone for a while, because these chickens, well, they have developed to a point where I can't really pick them up uh, with one hand like I used to when they were smaller. Oh my, Stormy, oh my, that was a bunch of clucks on your part there. Looking around there, my, my boy. Oh dear, oh dear. 
All right, let me move some things around. Make sure that the camera can see things that are going on. Ooh, the girls are a little bit too high there. So I'm going to put the camera down. Let's say, hmm, I can put it down by the window. That might actually get everything. Or by the cat tower. In fact, if the chickens aren't using the cat tower right now, or the chicky tower as I call it, I might as well utilize it here. There we go. There is a vision of Braveheart and Kagome as I pick up our little Stormy for his way in. Hello there, Stormy. Now these days, Stormy is actually a little bit bigger than Kagome. There you go, there you go, right on the plate. So that's an increase of about four grams for our Stormy. Here you go. There you go. So day 125. Oh, almost right. 843 grams. Lovely, lovely. All right. Let's see about us grabbing Braveheart here. There you go. There you go. And you're going to have some lovely seeds after this, Braveheart. Yes, you are. And don't listen to anything Kagome has to say right now. All right. Oh, dear. Oh. And that was our Braveheart stepping off of the plate as Kagome just kind of surprised her. The plate is all right, Braveheart is all right, and I did manage to get a measurement in. She is kind of at the same weight she was yesterday, so no drop, but we will keep apprised about that. I'm sorry there's no chickies on camera right now. I'll move the camera for a second. There we go. Oh my, oh my. Here we go, I'm gonna reposition this. Hello everyone, you decided to all go on the ground. Ah ha ha ha, I got you Kagome. No, it's time for you just to stand there, nice and still. Okay. Oh, fussy Kagome, fussy Kagome. All right. So the ladies are kind of hovering where they were yesterday, and Stormy has gained a couple of grams. Interesting, interesting. All right. So here are all of the chickies, and let's see about giving them a collection of different seeds here. In fact, I'm gonna put this on again just for a bit and get a little handful of various seeds and see if the chickies appreciate this. Let's see. First, let me put down your regular food right here. Put down your water right there. Move the camera so you guys can all see them over there. Lovely, lovely. Oh my, the flax seed is very fine here. In fact, I'm going to move the seeds over here by my little table. And we'll give them some of the seeds one by one. And we'll see which one that they really like the most today. I know, Kagome. I know. All right, so first up, here are some flax seeds for the chickies. This is the first time they're ever eating flax seeds. Oh. They seem to be embracing it. That's a nice, satisfying little crunch, isn't it, chickies? I think Kagome agrees there. Oh my, Stormy! So fast. Ooh, 
little too hard there. Let me put the rest down there. But that is a good first little test there. Oh my, they're, they are all just digging right into that. No hesitation whatsoever. And that's lovely. Now the next thing that we will give them are just going to be their regular sesame seeds, which is always a favorite. So sesame seeds is an old, an oldie but a goodie. Oh, and I dropped the sunflower seeds over there. The chickies are looking over there. They're looking at the sesame seeds and they're not sure which one to go for. Oh dear. Oh, but Kagome decided, you know what? What's in dad's hands might be a bit better. Are they? Oh dear. There you go. Oh, there you go, Braveheart. There you go, Kagome. Oh, a little bit of pinching, so I'm gonna put this down there. And they are enjoying that treat, and I'm gonna go pick up a bunch of these that I let fall. Fortunately, the whole bag wasn't open. But all of these seeds should be a nice treat for the chickens. And I'll give it to them right from my hand. Now these are a lot bigger than the other seeds. So I'm not sure if they're gonna like them nearly as much. Well, Kagome's picked up a couple. Ooh, that was a bit of a snap there. Oh my. Right, here you go, Braveheart, here you go. She gave me a little bit of a whine. Ooh. Oh, you managed to get one. That was a nice little crunch on your part. Oh yeah. Lovely, lovely. And the other two are working on the seeds as well. Braveheart's looking for the best bit she can find. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna join the others? Here, I'm gonna put this down here with the rest of you. Well, I think so far they seem to have enjoyed the flax seeds the most out of everything here. Um, and the larger, uh, it's just sunflower seeds that I dropped before, you are right. I think Stormy will probably go and clean those up in a bit. Um, sunflower seeds are nice and healthy for the chickies. So if they eat them all up, that is, you know, all the better. They're all still growing. They're all still developing. And they're just going through all of their lovely treats now. They were all pretty well behaved um, when we were weighing them, you know, except for that little bit with Braveheart. There we go, there we go, little ones. And they really did seem to like the flax seeds, so I'm gonna give them a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Let's see if you find that there. Or is Stormy a bit more interested there in all of these sunflower seeds? Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> Sorry guys, just needed to clear my throat. So for those of you just kind of tuning in that aren't aware, um, this is Watching Chickies, the daily live stream here on Reddit about the lives and development of these three young chickens. And um, to I bug, um, they are eating right now um, some sesame seeds, some flax seeds, and some sunflower seeds right now. Um, they haven't had uh, sunflower seeds and flax seeds before, so this is a new treat for them. Um, they've eaten sesame seeds in the past, which they have enjoyed quite a bit. And I just kind of like giving the chickens um, a lot of different types of food to eat, um, as long as they, you know, as it's healthy for them. I want to make sure that they are having nice lives. Oh, and hello there, Braveheart. Braveheart does enjoy just kind of jumping on my knee sometimes and getting some pets. Though that time she was just doing a little bit of parkour off my knee. 
Um, in brown and gold right there is our hen, Kagome. And Kagome is an Onagadori chicken. And the Onagadori is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken, known for their long, lustrous tails that could get to be over 20 feet in length or over 6 meters. And over here in black is our other hen, Braveheart. Braveheart is an Ayam Samani. They hail from Southeast Asia. And they have hyperpigmentation that goes all the way down to their bones. So the black coloration is just all throughout her body. And as you can see from that sheen over there, some of her feathers even have a sort of iridescent quality where they're almost kind of blue. And right here is our one little man. It is Stormy. Uh, Stormy is our little silky chicken, though not quite so little these days. He's actually a little bit bigger than Kagome. Uh, the silky breed comes originally from China, first bred around 2,000 years ago, covered in silky soft feathers their whole lives. Oh, there you go. Oh, and yes, we just triggered the sunflower seed bot there. And um, so the sunflower seeds that we got from these guys are actually, um, hold on, where are they? I think they're a little smaller than your average sunflower seeds. Um, what did we get? So black oil sunflower seeds. I think Lauren said that they were supposed to be just in general, a little bit smaller, um, a little bit softer for the chickies to get through, so not quite as big. And they already have a lot to eat over there, so I shouldn't put any more down. I was being silly there. But guys, look, 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 look. You still have so many of these little flax seeds here. Oh, and Sushi de Carne, lovely to see you. It has been ages. There we go. Yeah, Kagome, more lovely flax seeds. I think you enjoy them. Yeah, it's a nice little crunch there. I think you approve. Mm-hmm. Not so hungry right now? Well, that is okay. And Braveheart's just enjoying jumping up and down, doing a little plop action there. I think she's going to try to jump onto my knee from up here. Did I get that right, Braveheart? Oh, no. Heading right up here to your perch. But you are sidling over to me. Do you want me to put my hand out? There you go. Right onto my knee. There you go. Lovely, Braveheart. Lovely. Oh, there you go. And Archer Fizz. Well, thank you for the wholesome award there. Much appreciated. Oh, I think there was about a little zoomy that was about to happen there. Sometimes the chickens do just kind of like to run around, chase each other and play. And all of these guys are members of our family and friends for life. So none of these chickens are destined to be eaten. Um, they're just destined to have a nice time here, to live their lives in peace, and just to have some fun. Um, they live the majority of their lives um, outside in their outdoor coop. Uh, we bring them in here for purpose of the streams and um, at night to make sure that they are safe from predators. And Kagome's tail has become quite glorious these days. It's actually starting to spread out a little bit towards the end as it gets longer and longer. And um, I'm thinking in the next few months we're going to be seeing it get to around three feet in length at least. And Archer Fizz, that is a good question. How will you control how many babies they have when that starts? 
Well, I have actually done a lot of research on that. And what happens with chicken eggs um, when they are fertilized by a male, like Stormy here. Oh, and hello there, Daunting Walnut. Or should I say Chicken Mom? I hope all is going well at work for you. Oh, hold on, hold on. I need to pick up Kagome. Come here. Come here. There you go. There you go. She's on she's on the dad perch now. Let me pick up Stormy. There you go. I got a Stormy now. There we go, my little man. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. There's my spiky haired little boy there. Then on my shoulder, we have Kagome. Hello there, Kagome. You look lovely today. Lovely, lovely. And then over here, we just, oh, oh, oh. There you go, Kagome. There you go. Over here, we have Braveheart, who's just doing a little bit of preening, just cleaning up. Oh. Oh, and Stormy decided he wanted to be up here on the highest level. So what I was talking about before, about the chickies' eggs, is in the future, when we are going to get ready to add to our little flock, um, we will be letting um, Kagome and Braveheart um, hatch some of their own eggs. So what happens when a chicken... Oh. It's okay, it's okay. So what happens when a chicken lays their eggs? Um, if they're fertilized, oh dear, they won't start to develop at all unless they start to reach a certain temperature. There you go. And if they don't reach that certain temperature, they basically stay exactly the same as almost an unfertilized egg. So, um, we, w we will be collecting their eggs on sort of a daily basis, though um, Braveheart and Kagome will probably be max giving us maybe two eggs a week. Um, and when we are ready for them to have babies, we will just be leaving um, a certain number of eggs with them. So then they will be sitting on them and they'll start to brood over them. And a couple weeks after that, we will start to get little baby chickies. Now, um, as long as we take the eggs away, um, the eggs don't develop at all. Um, and they're just kind of like the regular eggs that you would find almost at a supermarket. Um, and that's a good way for us to control the sort of um, the health and population of our flock. Uh, because we're only allowed a maximum of eight chickens in our area. So I'm thinking when we are going to get a couple of new chickies, we will probably start with two. Just so we don't overwhelm the flock. We don't overwhelm Kagome, Braveheart, and Stormy. Um, we will let uh, Kagome or Braveheart, depending on who's um, more broody at the time. I, I'm thinking it might be Braveheart. And um, we'll hatch uh, one egg from both of them, assuming that um, Stormy has actually fertilized the eggs. There we go. And then we'll need to wait for maybe about um, four months or so to see what the genders of the babies are. Because um, we're only allowed a maximum of one rooster in our area. There you go, my little trumpeteer. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I think she wants to go to Braveheart, so I'm gonna make sort of a land bridge with my arm. There you go, Kagome. There you go. Are you ready for that jump? There you go. Nice little jump there, and she is all right. What, you want to go over to the other side? Oh my, oh my. 
and she does like to talk. Let's see if I can show you how she navigates how she navigates the um new tower. Here we go. There you go, Kagome. I know you can do it. You usually jump to this one. Oh my. Oh, and Daunting Walnut, thank you for the candy corn upvote. Much appreciated there. And oh my, such a very interesting looking upvote, isn't it? And Braveheart, how about you try the, um, the new Chicky Tower? Come here, come here. There you go. You see what Dad's doing. You see what Dad's doing. Right there with Kagome. And you see, it's nice, it's soft, and it's lovely. And I've seen you guys just jump all about it to get back to your usual area. What, you're looking towards the window? Are you going to go towards the window now? Are you just wondering what to do? Now, one other thing we have seen is little Stormy going into his bachelor pad here. There you go, Stormy. There you go. I just call that his little bachelor pad. Sometimes he can chill out inside there in the gray fluffiness. That kind of matches his gray fluffiness. And I have seen Stormy a couple of times go onto this perch, but I think he's a little bit more comfortable when he is inside this area, as you see here. Hello there, Stormy. Hello through your little window. There you go, my boy. Oh, and there's Braveheart traversing the different towers. Good job there, Braveheart. A little bit of parkour. Lovely, lovely. Oh, hello there, Stormy. You ready to come out? He's looking about. What are you girls doing while I'm in my apartment? Oh dear, oh dear. And from the looks of it, Braveheart's kind of thinking she wants to jump back. Now this is gonna be the first time I'm, I'm gonna see her really jumping back to the tower, if this is the case. I think she's trying to judge the distance or even just judge whether or not she wants to go through with it. Ha! <laughs> and you're right, Sushi de Carne. Yep, this is Stormy's little man cave. Oh my, oh my. Are you ready to come out, Stormy? Do you want to come out? No, he's just looking at my hand. Maybe he just wants me to give him snacks. Hold on. I could give Stormy some snacks. You can't have a ma man cave without some snacks. You liked them before? Flax seeds. No? Oh dear, oh dear. Let's see if Kagome is a little bit hungry. Oh, she'll take a few bites. Yeah? Oh my. Yes, yeah, Stormy? Oh, he's gonna jump out. I've seen this look before. There he goes. Oh, so proud of himself there. So proud. There you go, Stormy. There's some more flax seeds for you. And sometimes he does just kind of want to stay in there. Oh, and hello there, Braveheart. Uh-huh. A few little lines there. Coming to say hi to Dad? Yeah? Ooh, a little plop onto my leg. There you go. You gotta watch out on the, the trousers there. It could be a little bit slippery. Oh, dear. Sometimes I think I need to wear corduroy pants when she does this, just so she has a better grip. Oh, Stormy scratching at the ground, having a little meal. 
Whereas Kagome over there I saw was just kind of playing with the string there by the ball. Oh my. Hello there, Braveheart. Hello. Ah, oh, polarity. Well, I don't know. That would be interesting. As a content creator, I think you're about at the right size for pursuing sponsorships or affiliations with name brand companies. Oh my. And Mugwump, 6506. Stormy is definitely a chicken. He is a little silky rooster. 125 days old, just like the rest of the chickens. Hello, Kagome. Hello. You ready to come off the tower? Do you want to come off? Oh, yes, you do. Right back on to your regular area. You had a visit with the tower. You got to puff up your little